Nice, man. Yeah, I want to see your hair as well. Thank you for the comment. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Orange's, <laughs> Orange's hair is crazy. I, I, I told have you. Have you met that guy? No, I don't think I have. He has, like, this huge, like, orange fro, That's pretty so much. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to it's see it. It's pretty awesome. A new carrot top? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Except right. way better. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, so I think this is this button check. Or I don't think so. Uh -oh. I think they no, went right into we're it. right into it. All right, David doing Squirtle stuff, running our hands. So this is kind of interesting because David, um, he kind of plays. He'll go in. Uh, he'll oh, definitely yeah. like rush in. He initiates 100 percent for sure. But it's really easy with that side beat to just come in and you know lower your elevation. It's just a yeah. lot easier. Definitely. And yeah, it's like really hard. If you get armor, um, you're so low down to the ground. It's like really hard to uh, hit somebody out of it, right. and so like that really helps out, and you kind of cancel out of it, especially on hit. Um, whereas Scud, he kind of likes to space out. Yeah, why he has the range, which is good. He's playing Ice Source, so uh, we'll see him like kind of sit back, trying to make David come to him. Right. It's it's a chess match between these two. You, you can't overextend or else. Definitely. It's and it looks like Scud already like lost a really quick stop. I wonder, uh, I wonder was if that was suicide. I oh, oh that was definitely a suicide. Tell me this is button check. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think it is. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, so David goes to the downs. Uh, of course, Carrot Top is a freak. Yeah, man. Well, <laughs> jokes are lame at least. I don't really oh, know much about him past that. They're What's absolutely that? terrible. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, so David's still taking a really commanding lead here. Scud's gonna have to switch something up, not kill himself so much. Uh, is that Scud's main? Yeah, I think so. He he also plays Nest though, so okay. we could definitely see a switch. Nice. Um, hopefully he's not thinking about that yet. He yeah. can still he can still bring it back if he uh, if he, he gets a couple. Of, yeah, he's he can heal it up. Yeah. Get a few grabs in. The Just... only character in the game who has an effective heal. Right. Back throw. There we go. Wow, Using that was a really nice second, grab out of right. Him. Oh, almost. Oh, uh, he misses that grab though. That that leaf is super good because it kind of sticks around even if it hits on shield. Right. So it kind of traps him there. And, uh, I also like it because you can adjust the speed at which the projectile travels, which is really nice to uh, switch it up on people. Yeah, for sure. Now, okay, um, I know back in their old versions, it was just random. Do you know now in, um, in 3.0, can you actually change? Actually, in 3.0, I totally forgot. Um, I, it might still be random, but I thought that you were able to adjust it. Uh, you might be. So I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not an Ivysaur main, so. Right, I'm not right. Uh, we can always find out. Where's Neil? <laughs> yeah, right. Or, yeah, probably that guy would know. <laughs> Brad, <laughs> can you angle uh, Ivysaur's forward beat? You can't yeah, control it's, it? It's random. Okay, okay cool. our resident tech skill expert has confirmed that it is random. It is still random. I think it used to be. I think yeah, that's... There, there was a version, I think, where you could control it, but right. I don't think you can anymore. Right. Which is awesome, because I love the way that they are staying active on Project M. It's really yeah, amazing. Sure. Hopefully, we'll get a new... 3-5. Uh... We're waiting on it. Yeah. All right, so... David stands back and taunts because he knows Scud isn't going to go in. Right. And Scud sm smartly stays out. Right, and he's playing yeah. it safe still. He's got to play his own game. Definitely. Because yeah. even if, even if like, he might not win this game, but he's still got to, like, play his game to figure out what he needs to do next round. Right, right. That was really nice back then. This is a battle of ledge guard right now. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh, missed the grab. Like five hits on that leaf. Okay, he charges while he's coming down. Kind of unsafe, I think. Yeah. Worked out for him, but then. Round one. Dave gets him off the ledge. So, what do you think he needs to do in this next match to come back? Um, I'm just really seeing. Uh, Squirtle is just really nice. The way he that he, the way that he initiates is really smart. Uh, I feel like David is really timing his moves. So, uh, I really think that the only way that. Uh, that Ivysaur is going to get any uh, any leeway is if he really stands back and, you know, camps him out. He's really going to have to be very safe. We're going with the Ness switch, which is a good option to me because I feel that Ness has a little bit more control over range as well as he has more ranged uh, ability. Yeah. So I feel like this is a smarter choice. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so people are asking about the rules. So basically the rule set is four stocks, uh, two out of three. Um, 
I think we go pure two out of three now. Okay. Although I'm not sure about this tournament since it's like one big round robin. Right, right. Um, the rule set's basically the same as Apex 2014, which is a little outdated, but um, the only difference is that our rule set bans uh, Lilac Cruise. Okay. Um, uh, it bans Skyloft. Skyloft and. Uh, Pokemon Stadium 1, right? Pokemon Stadium 1, okay. that's right, yeah. So those three are the only three that are banned besides. Um, or that are just insta ban. Right, yeah. Besides, yeah, besides, you know. So it has the bottom row, which are all. Open. Which are all. Uh, neutral. And then the middle row, those three are removed, and the rest are countermixed. Right. So those look like good actually switch to. Uh, Ness. What do you think about that? Um, like I said, uh, I feel that Ness has the better matchup if he can use the ranged moves. It seems like Scud is getting. Uh, He's getting unlucky with those with, with the ledge, but you yeah. know, hopefully he can bring it back. It's, it's still anyone's game. We can see anything happen here. He's getting a little body back, of let's, course. Let's be honest. Uh, but that, you know, that happens with Scud sometimes. He gets a little in his own head. Right. But it's a tournament, so you know, yeah. the, the hype is on. You gotta you gotta yeah, bring for it. Sure. No Pokemon Stadium one, unfortunately, and I'm not sure exactly why, but uh, it is a part of the uh, incident. Yeah, uh, basically the transformations were deemed to be too unfair. Unfair. Yeah, yeah. I can uh, understand that. Walls can like really favor certain characters. Right. Um, personally, I don't really have that much of a problem with Pokemon Stadium One, but you know, a lot of people don't yeah. like it. Uh, I can understand it as far as tournament-wise go. You know, it's yeah. like un unfair is the, the way to put it. Right. You just don't want to have you don't want to have too many things that don't feel like you watch because of skill. Right. Right. So. And meanwhile, David is taking even further lead, three stocks to one. Um, looking like he's... Oh, wow. Oh, here we go. But Scud killed himself. So. Still out. You know, he killed himself like three times. Yeah. That's, that's pretty tough. Tournament hype. It happens.